بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My name is Alexander Obaka Stark and I am from Germany. I want to say some few words regarding the study at the Wisdom International School for Higher Education Studies. This is an accredited institution in the Philippines. The studying is full distance education. That means sometimes it will be definitely quite hard because we have to discipline ourselves. But I think the outcome will be very fruitful. Moreover, I think it has the advantage that we can make our own schedule and study whenever we have time, which is very useful for people who are working. About the books, I want to say that the books are according to the Quran and Sunnah, and so it is very good for everyone who lives in a non-Islamic environment because it is very difficult for them to get such kind of books, but also for the other students who are from Islamic countries, because these books are in English and the founders of wisdom made a huge effort to collect and compile these books. Moreover, about these uh, lectures, I want to say that these lectures are very kind and helpful, and whenever I was uh, Whenever I faced some problems, then I could ask them and contact them, and they were always willing uh, to help me. So all in all, I want to say that I strongly recommend to study at the Wisdom International School for Higher Education Studies. And I think everyone can contact uh, them on their homepage whenever, whenever you have some uh, questions. And I hope you will succeed in your studies. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Alexander Abu Bakr Stark. Auzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear brothers and sisters, and assalamu alaikum. My name is uh, Sadiq Bakay. I'm speaking to you from. California in the United States and currently I'm a student uh, in Pasadena City College. I'm pursuing uh, a, a degree in dental laboratory technology and uh, I'd like to give you a little background information about myself. I come from an Indo-Pakistani background and my my background was such that I or my upbringing such that I didn't have that much information about Islam when I was growing up. I, my parents are, um, were ha also had very uh, simple information that was given to them. And so I basically knew uh, the how to pray and Alhamdulillah. Uh, but I didn't uh, didn't really have that, that much in-depth information about, you know, I probably uh, I read the the, the, the Quran, and I and I never uh, uh, never took the time, or ne never the thought never even occurred to me to read the English translation of what Allah was saying to me and to mankind. So, as you can see, I was basically a cultural Muslim. So, Alhamdulillah, Allah guided me to further my understanding of Islam, and Alhamdulillah, I had the opportunity of of studying at Wishes, and I wanted to I wanted to thank. The uh, teachers at Wishes, who, alhamdulillah, were 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 a great help in in furthering my knowledge and and my understanding of Islam and and of, of the correct understanding of Islam, uh, inshallah, um, alhamdulillah, I, it was a it was indeed a great blessing, and I am grateful for it. And to the teachers at uh, at Wishes, I would like to say jazakumullah khairan. And I wanted to give you a brief reminder on the importance of, of of Islam in that Allah says in no uncertain terms and whoever seeks a religion other than Islam it shall not be accepted from him and in the life to come he shall be among the losers so this is a very very uh, important and potent reminder for us of the of the up of that that in that Islam is of the utmost importance and we cannot take this for granted um, and elsewhere, um, Allah says, Verily the only acceptable religion to Allah is Islam. So this is a very clear-cut 
uh, reminder for us that uh, in which there is very little room for debate, or actually there is no room for debate here, uh, in that Islam is of the utmost importance. And um, so if, if, if Islam is of the utmost importance, then logically speaking, we should try to have a better understanding of it. And this is for all of us. Uh, no matter how, mu how much knowledge we have gained, we, we should always try to improve our knowledge, inshallah. And that is uh, and definitely my intention to further my knowledge and um, uh, improve upon it, inshallah. And uh, to also uh, bring this point home, perhaps I, I, sh I should mention uh, that the Prophet said in an authentic narration that seeking knowledge is compulsory on every Muslim. So this is of the utmost importance. Uh, and we cannot take this for granted, as I said previously. Um, with that, inshallah, I will uh, bid you farewell. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. My name is Tahir Awazir and I'm 27 years old. Uh, I would like to share my experience with Wisdom International School, in which I had done an Islamic course. This has, alhamdulillah, benefited me uh, also in my teaching, which I'm doing um, apart from the reward, which we will be getting, inshallah, in the next world. Um, this world, alhamdulillah, I'm able to teach the students here. Uh, I'm teaching it in an IB school for non-Arabic speaking students. And alhamdulillah, I'm teaching Islamic studies. So, um, uh, First of all, I would like to start by saying that, um, by stating a hadith by Prophet Muhammad that the seeking of knowledge is obligatory for all Muslims. It's not, um, another thing I would like to say in this is that, alhamdulillah, we are uh, able to say Jazakallah Khair to Wisdom International for their beneficial course in which this has given us an in-depth uh, study uh, of the three main criteria of the Sunnah, and Alhamdulillah, the one of the main uh, ways we, one of the main things we studied was uh, was aqida, the methodology of Dawa, and also the personal development for us as Inshallah Taala uh, future mothers. Uh, how it will be beneficial for our uh, children, inshallah. And also, it has also helped me discipline in time management, uh, even though it wasn't an, um, it was an online course, alhamdulillah, I have still benefited a lot from this. I would truly recommend this course, especially when Islam, if we know that Islam stresses on the importance of time consumed in a proper way. I would like to say that uh, gaining knowledge is a type of, you know, remaining steadfast. Jazakallah khair to Dr. Famida and Nora Lane again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Aisha and I have finished my degree in Bachelor's of Islamic Studies and I'm currently awaiting my degree from the Wisdom International School for Higher Educational Studies or the Wishes. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. This course has helped me, has helped to give me a closer understanding of Islam and also help me help to bring me closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The admin and all the professors and all the other staff have also been extremely helpful in answering any queries that I might have had. Some of the subjects that I did from the wishes were an explanation into the analysis of the pillars of Islam and Iman in the light of the Quran and the Sunnah. And this subject was very helpful so that because we not only learn about the pillars of Islam and Iman, but we learn about the wisdom behind them and also the benefits of doing them. Some of the other subjects are nullifiers of Islam and medicines. And this is important because we need to know about the nullifiers so we can keep away from those things that take us out of the fold of Islam. And also halal wa haram, to keep away from the haram things. And uh, the ideal Muslim. This is important because Islam is not only about learning the facts. A good education not only teaches the children things, but also instills values such as obedience, sincerity, and truthfulness in them. So this subject is extremely helpful because it teaches us what are the certain values or what are the certain guidelines for being a good Muslim. And finally, da'wah in the light of the Quran and Sunnah. 
which is again important because Dawa is one of the most fundamental duties of a Muslim. I thank wishes for giving me the opportunity to study Islam and to acquire knowledge for indeed acquiring knowledge is an ibadah because the Prophet وسلم, was instructed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to ask dua to increase in knowledge and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said وَقُلْ رَبِّي زِدْنِي عِلْمًا and also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran in Surah Fatir إِنَّمَا يَخْشَى اللَّهُ مِنْ عِبَادِهِ الْعُلَمَاءِ Indeed, those who fear Allah are those who have knowledge. So, only if we have knowledge about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would we be able to acquire taqwa. And also, acquiring of knowledge is an ibadah. As Prophet sallallahu said, acquire knowledge for he who acquires knowledge is doing an act of piety. He who speaks about it is praising the Lord. He who seeks it arose Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He who dispenses instruction in it such a person bestows charity and he who instructs others in it or teaches others in it then such a person is doing an act of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so therefore I would like to conclude by once again thanking wishes for giving me this uh, opportunity and also by saying that the wishes program it helps us develop a deeper understanding of Islam and to build a positive relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that would be manifested by doing righteous deeds and I would lastly like to conclude by saying that the acquiring of Islamic knowledge should always be done solely for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not for any showing off and when it is indeed done for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then the angels would spread their wings for the ones who acquire knowledge and also Everything in the heavens and the earth and even the inhabitants of the sea would seek forgiveness for that person till the person proceeds to seek knowledge. And this is based on a hadith, sah- sahih hadith narrated by Imam Ahmad in his Musnad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa